everybody. Welcome back to Colin's Crazy Creatures. This is my Mexican red rump tarantula, Roja. Roja in Spanish means red because she has red hair. And Roja is the feminine form of the word red in Spanish. They're from Mexico, obviously. The Mexican red rump was called Brachypelma vegans but it's recently been changed to Tiltacoddle Vagans. And I like Tiltacoddle because it comes from a native language and it means black spider. And even though it's hard to say, it's also fun to say. Tiltacoddle, Tiltacoddle, Tiltacoddle. And it sounds, and most Americans are gonna pronounce it Tiltacaddle, which makes it sound like the genus, the juveniles of this genus go cow tipping on Saturday nights for fun. They're named for their obvious red setae on their abdomen, and the rest of their body is velvety black. Which... Black spider. Males live up to 8 years, but females can live up to 20 years. This species gets, about, gets to about 5 inches from toe to toe, but females appear much more robust than males do. Because they're New World Tarantulas, they have urticating hairs, which are very itchy hairs on their abdomen, which they can kick off onto you, and they can be very irritating if they get into your face. Like all tarantulas, they are venomous, but the venom of this species is not very potent. They're usually a calm species, but can be very aggressive and defensive and food-driven, so they can be very tricky to handle. I do handle Roja, but to be very careful when doing it. And if she starts making a threat posture inside the enclosure, I don't hold her, and if she starts making it when she's on my hand, I just stand still. So let's try and hold her now. I'm holding her over the enclosure, so in case she gets a little flighty, or if she just bolts, she will go into the enclosure instead of on the cold, hard floor. You may think that Roja is showing you threat posture, but she's actually just trying to sense her surroundings and get some balance. A threat posture is, is if she puts up her legs and shows her fangs. That's what she was doing when she was cow tipping. They are very aggressive eaters and, can ha and have a high food drive. They will eat feeder insects and will eat multiple times a week if they're not in pre-mole or immediately after the mole. So, let's feed Rohan now. You have to make sure that their enclosure is not too high, so if they climb, they won't get hurt if they fall. You have to make sure they have enough substrate so they can burrow down. I actually have a PVC pipe tube connector as a burrow. And you have to make sure their moisture level is not too high, but also not too low. I make it moist by when I'm refilling the water bowl, I overfill it a little bit. Like this. I'm getting really interested in tarantulas, and I already have a few. I have Roja, the Mexican red rump, or Tlotocotl vegans. I have Chirpa, the pink toe, or Aviculera aviculera. And I have Parker, the red knee, or Brachypelma homori. And I'm planning on getting more in the future, so stay tuned to see what I get. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel like your videos, and see you next time on Collins Crazy Creatures.